Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll be breaking down this jewelry shine effect. We're going to be rotoscoping the jewelry as well as adding a few effects to our layers. It's a really simple effect to do, so let's get right into it. So here in After Effects, to get started, I'm going to first rotoscope the jewelry. We're going to double click the layer and then grab the roto brush tool. For those that don't know, you can hold the control button, left click and drag your mouse to make your brush either bigger or smaller. And then if there's any unwanted parts that you didn't want to rotoscope, you can hold the alt button on your keyboard, left click and just drag over wherever you don't want to rotoscope. So in our case, we're only going to rotoscope the jewelry. After going frame by frame to check that everything was properly rotoscoped, you want to then click the freeze button in order to lock in our rotoscope subject. We're going to then go back into the composition. And now as you guys can see, we have our rotoscoped jewelry. I'm going to increase the feather to 10 and then decrease the shift edge to around negative 30. And then we're going to duplicate this layer. Click Ctrl D. For the bottom layer, I'm going to change that to background or D Savage BG, which stands for background, just so that I have my layers more organized. And then for this background layer, I'm going to delete the rotor brush effect. So now we have the rotoscope to jewelry at the top and then the background layer at the bottom. I'm actually going to change the name of this to jewelry. Before we even add the effects to this jewelry layer, I'm going to make the background black and white. For this background layer, I'm going to add a tint and then I'm going to add a brightness and contrast increase the brightness to 10 and then increase the contrast to 50. We're going to then add a curves. I'm just going to decrease the midtones and have it a little darker like that. We're going to then add a levels to this layer. I'll increase the input black to 25.5. Now, as you guys can see, we have the shadows of our background layer pop out more. And then for the final effect, I'm going to add a vignette. I'll increase the amount to 110. So now we have a black and white background layer. And then I'm going to start adding effects to our jewelry layer. For the first effect, I'm going to add a hue and saturation. I'll be increasing the master saturation to 25, just so that we can have the colors pop out a little more. And then for the next effect, I'll be adding a uni glow decrease the intensity to 0.7 and then increase the size to 30. For the next effect, we're going to add a shine. What the shine effect does is create those light rays so that we can actually create that animation and have our jewelry shining. We're going to decrease the ray length to around 3 and then increase the boost light to 2.5. For the color, we're going to create no color, so we're just going to have it white like that. We're also going to decrease the source opacity, and I'll have that at 50. And then in order for our shine to actually shine in the right direction, what we're going to do is click that effect, go to the source point, and then as you guys can see, we have this source point, and we're just going to drag that down towards the bottom so that our shine effect is shining towards the top. And what we're going to do is animate the source point, so we're going to have our shine effect going from the left to the right. So what you want to do is just animate the source point at the start. Click that layer, click U to reveal the keyframes. We're going to go forward 30 frames. In order to go forward 30 frames, you want to hold the shift button on your keyboard and then click page down three times. So one, two, three, grab our source point that we just keyframed. And then we're just going to drag that all the way towards the left. And once it finishes animating from left to right, keyframe the shine opacity at the start at 100. And then click that layer again, click U to reveal the keyframes. Go forward 30 frames to where the source point was keyframed and then we're going to keyframe the shine opacity back to zero so right when it finishes animating from left to right we can just have it slowly fade out grab all those keyframes easy ease them now if i play this we have that shine effect going on and then what we're going to do is also create a flicker effect so that we have the jewelry constantly lighting on and off so for this jewelry layer we're going to add a curves and for this curves effect drag the midpoint down so that we have our jewelry start out darker keyframe that curves at the start and then we're going to go forward two frames Try that curves point towards the top. Now, as you guys can see, it's a lot lighter. And then go forward another two frames, grab both of those keyframes, click Control C, and then click Control V in order to copy and paste those keyframes. And then what we're going to do is just go forward another two frames and then copy all these keyframes, click Control C and then Control V. We're just going to do that till we reach the end of our layer. So now that it's keyframed till the end of the layer, we're going to then grab all those keyframes and ease ease them. And now if we play this, we have that flicker effect going on with the jewelry. And just to make this effect look a little better what we're going to do is add a flash blur effect at the start so create a new adjustment layer for this adjustment layer we're going to add an exposure keyframe the exposure at 2 at the start we're also going to keyframe the offset to 0.7 at the start click u to reveal the keyframes and then go forward 8 frames keyframe the exposure back to 0 and the offset back to 0 i'm also just going to cut this adjustment layer to 8 frames just to keep it more organized grab all those keyframes easy ease them and then in order to add that blur effect we're going to add a fast box blur keyframe the blur radius at 
at 10 at the start and then go forward eight frames keyframe it back to zero grab those keyframes easy ease them so now when i play this we have that really dope flash blur effect going on at the start as well as the jewelry shine effect but that is all i have for this effect thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video